Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. This is Spanish Conversations, Episode 7, Conversations Part 7. So these are the contents which we are going to cover in today's session. At a pharmacy for a man, at a pharmacy for a woman, visiting a doctor for a man, visiting a doctor for a woman, and finally vocabulary and high frequency verbs. So let's start. At, at a pharmacy, man, traveler, I'm ill. Estoy enfermo. Pharmacist, what symptoms do you have? ¿Qué síntomas tiene? Traveler, I have been sick. He vomitado. Pharmacist, do you have a fever? Tiene fiebre? Traveler, yes, sí. Pharmacist, you have sunstroke and you must find a doctor. Tiene una insolación y tiene que encontrar un doctor. Now some important notes for you. Il is enfermo. Now since it's a man, he's saying enfermo. If it were a woman, she would say enferma. Symptoms translates to sintomas. Do you have is tiene. Now I have been sick doesn't literally mean a vomitado. It loosely means I have been vomiting. So fever is fiebre. Then sunstroke is insolación. Find is encontrar. Now tiene que means you have to and it it can also mean you must. Now at a pharmacy for a woman. Traveler, I'm ill. Estoy enferma. Pharmacist, what symptoms do you have? ¿Qué síntomas tiene? Traveler, I have been sick. He vomitado. Pharmacist, do you have a fever? Tiene fiebre? Traveler, yes. Sí. Pharmacist, you have sunstroke and you must find a doctor. Tiene que insolación y tiene que encontrar un doctor. Visiting a doctor, man. Feeling unwell, you go down to the reception in your hotel. Traveler, I'm ill. Can you recommend me a doctor? Estoy enfermo. ¿Puedo recomendarme un doctor? Receptionist, is it urgent? ¿Es urgente? Traveler, yes, it's very urgent. Can the doctor come here? Si, sí, es muy urgente. El, de, el doctor puede venir aquí. Receptionist, one moment please. Un momento por favor. Receptionist, he is going to come here immediately. El va a venir immediatamente. The doctor arrives a while later and comes to your room. Doctor, what symptoms do you have? ¿Qué síntomas tiene? Traveler, I have been sick. He vomitado. Doctor, do you have a fever? Tiene fiebre? Traveler, yes, sí. Doctor, for how long? Since when? Desde cuando? Traveler, for two hours. Desde hace dos horas. Doctor, can you tell me? Puedo decirme? Doctor, are you diabetic? Es diabetico? Traveler, no, no. Doctor, are you asthmatic? Es asthmatico? Traveler, no, no. He examines you further and then decides. Doctor, you have sunstroke. Tiene una insolación. Traveler, is it serious? Es grave? Doctor, no, it's not very serious but you cannot go out today. No, no es muy grave, pero no puede salir hoy. He leaves you some rehydration. He leaves you some rehydration salts and says goodbye. Traveler, thank you, goodbye, gracias. Adios. Visiting a doctor for a woman. Feeling unwell, you go down to the reception in your hotel. Traveler, I'm ill. Can you recommend me a doctor? Estoy enferma. ¿Puede recomendarme un doctor? Receptionist, is it urgent? ¿Es urgente? Traveler, it's, yes, it's very urgent. Can the doctor come here? Sí, es muy urgente. El doctor puede venir aquí. Receptionist, one moment please. Un momento por favor. Receptionist, he is going to come immediately. Él va a venir inmediatamente. The doctor arrives a while later and comes to your room. Doctor, what symptoms do you have? ¿Qué síntomas tiene? Traveler, I have been sick. He vomitado. Doctor, do you have a fever? ¿Tiene fiebre? Traveler, yes, sí. Doctor, for how long? Since when? ¿Desde cuándo? Traveler, for two hours. Desde hace dos horas. Doctor, can you tell me? ¿Puedo decirme? Doctor, are you diabetic? ¿Es diabetica? Traveler, no. No. Doctor, are you asthmatic? ¿Es asthmatica? Traveler, no. No. 
He examines you further and then decides. Doctor, you have sunstroke. Tiene una insolación. Traveler, is it serious? Is grave? Doctor, no, it's not very serious, but you cannot go out today. No, no es muy grave, pero no puede salir hoy. He leaves you some rehydration salts and says goodbye. Traveler, thank you, goodbye. Gracias, adios. Okay, now vocabulary in high frequency verbs. To study is estudiar. To succeed is triunfar. To sunbathe is tomar el sol. To surf the internet is navegar in internet. To swim is nadar. To take is coger or tomar. To take advantage of is aprovechar. To take photographs is sacar fotos. To teach is enseñar. To tell is contar. To thank is agradecer. To think, believe is pensar or creer. To throw is tirar. To tidy is arreglar. To touch or to play a musical instrument is tocar. To try to is tratar de. To twist or to turn is torcer. Okay guys, this was it for this session. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next episode. Bye.